Hello, hello. Now, originally, I was going to record my Allosaurus video, but then I came across this. An extinct 10-foot-long eagle could pick up kangaroos with its terrifying claws. Dinateritus gaffe, I believe is how you pronounce that, went extinct with much of Australia's other megafauna 50,000 years ago. And uh, I thought I'd just quickly read through the article I came across about it, and uh, then maybe cover the study about it later, but this really sounds interesting, so uh, I just felt the need to do something on it. Over 60,000 years ago, an eagle relative with an almost 10-foot wingspan stalked the skies over southern Australia. Dionatarius Gaffey, Gaff's powerful eagle, which I'll probably call it from now on, had talons that could even snatch a koala or small kangaroo for dinner. This massive bird of prey was likely the largest continental eagle the world had ever seen. A study published March 16th in the Journal of Ornithology details how a team of fossil hunters from Flinders University in Australia put together this bird's story. Four large fossilised bones were collected in Mars Cave, southern Australia's Flinders Ranges, as far back as 1956 and 1969. The authors found an additional 28 bones scattered among the boulders in the site, which helped them create a better picture of this gigantic bird. This now extinct raptor is closely related to old world vultures that prowled Africa and Asia during the Pleistocene. In today's fauna, its closest living relative is the likely critically endangered monkey munching Philippine eagle. During the late Pleistocene epoch, when giant megafauna like the mammoth roamed the earth and ice sheets and glaciers were growing, Gaff's powerful eagle was likely the top avian predator on the planet. It's often been noted how few large land predators Australia had back then, so Gaff's powerful eagle helps fill that gap, said study author and Flinders University paleontologist Ellen Martha in a statement. This discovery reveals that this incredible family of birds was once much more diverse in Australia, and that raptors were also impacted by the mass extinction that wiped out most of Australia's megafauna. Gaff's powerful eagle and another recently described smaller bird named Cryptogyps represent a new genre of raptors that are unique to Australia. This sounds similar to what happened with Australotitan actually, because if I remember correctly, back when they described that, they found that it and other Australian sauropods actually belong in their own family called Diamantinosauria. So uh, that's fairly interesting. Gaff's powerful eagle was humongous, larger than any other eagle from other continents, and almost as large as the world's largest eagles once found on the islands of New Zealand and Cuba, including the whopping 13 kilogram, 28 pound, Hast's eagle of New Zealand, said Trevor Worthy, a study co-author and paleontologist at Flinders University in a statement. Gaff's powerful eagle also coexisted with the wedge-tailed eagle, a species that currently lives in Australia. The team says that this has interesting implications. Given that the Australian birds of prey used to be more diverse, it could mean that the wedge-tailed eagle in the past was more limited in where it lived and what it ate, said Maffa. Otherwise, it would have been in direct competition against Gaff's powerful eagle for those resources. Most of Australia's eagles and vultures, like Gaff's powerful eagle, went extinct about 50,000 years ago, along with most of the continent's megafauna. One 2020 study found that a possible explanation is extreme environmental change and deterioration, loss of water, increasing of burning of trees and grass, etc. That wiped out at least 13 super-sized megafauna species, including the world's largest wombats and kangaroos. Well, um, if I'm going to be honest, this sounds fairly interesting, and, uh, I'll probably end up doing a video going over the study describing this animal, kind of like what Edge does whenever a new dinosaur species is announced, where he uh, goes over the study and what it details about it. Because honestly, this sounds fairly interesting, especially considering the fact that, if I remember correctly, when it comes to paleontology, Australia isn't as well documented as other countries. So, uh, it would be fairly interesting to do a video on this. 
uh, though I probably will end up doing quite a few other videos before it, so we'll see how long it takes for me to actually do a video on this. Gentlemen, synchronize your death watches. And, uh, bye-bye.